Hi, this is Bob Brakes from Display Daily and uh, another report from ISC 2015 where we're with uh, Flat Frog uh, from Sweden who are developing Touch. So uh, I'm, I'm with Nathan Moyle of uh, Flat Frog and nice to see you, Nathan. Nice, glad. Um, so maybe uh, for those of, uh, of our readers who haven't been watching in the last couple of years, uh, we've been reporting Flat Frog. Could you maybe explain what, what, what Flat Frog does in terms of uh, large area touch? Absolutely, I would love to. So uh, we have a pretty unique technology that uh, uh, is able to scale up from 15 inch all the way to 100 inch with multi-touch capability. We're able to do either one, two or up to 80 multi-touch on the screen. 80. 80. Up to 80, yes, uh, that is correct. Uh, and we have a pretty unique technology where the two key advantages is it does not require a bezel. So it's uh, completely flat. Um, and also the ability to do very good high quality, high definition pictures. Uh, with our solution, we don't require to put sensor inside the glass that would degrade the quality of the picture. Our sensor are actually outside and we're using a, almost a perfect glass, not blocking the light. So you can still get your multi-touch, as many as 80 different points or, or fingers without degrading the quality of the pictures, which is quite suitable for high definition and ultra high definition. Yeah, that was one of the things that most first attracted me to the Flat Frog technology as, as I'm, I'm obsessive about visual quality and I hate anything that degrades the quality visually. But equally, as you say, at the moment, the infrared solutions and the optical solutions all need big fat bezels, which are not very popular with the, the uh, systems integrators and the set makers. That, that is correct. And that's one of the key advantages and why people really like our solution is because we don't require the bezel. Uh, we don't do the sensing on the surface of the uh, panel the way that IR does. We're actually doing it uh, inside the glass, uh, which allows us to have a perfect flat bezel, which is quite suitable for large display, uh, where we're finding um, a lot of interest is uh, on the curved display. So we can also do either flat or curved display. And again, without the bezel, and we can go from small size of about 15 inch all the way up to 110, which is also suitable for video walls. Yeah, you've, you've come a long way in the last year or two because uh, we, I remember last year you were looking at small to uh, medium sized, uh, like all in one PCs was about the largest you were doing. So what's kind of enabled you to go to the much bigger sizes now? Mm. So there are really two things. One is uh, just uh, improved technology and uh, uh, through the learning that we've done with us medium sizes, um, we really um, took that learning and we really had a breakthrough. We figured out how to do a much larger size and what we thought was the ceiling is no longer the ceiling. Um, you know, we're saying 15 to 110, but we believe we can do even bigger if the market is there. Uh, the, second, the second limiting factor, the second thing that is changing is there's a trend in the market. The price of LCD is coming down um, and the sizes are getting bigger. And the fact that sites are getting bigger is becoming a little bit more interesting and a little bit more attractive. Uh, and also the trend towards the high definition, the 4K and 8K is perfectly aligned with our strengths because again, we can add the, the multi-touch without degrading the picture. So in addition to just being able to do the, to do the touch, uh, we, also have, we also have the capability to do pressure and not just one finger, but multi-touch pressure um, so, uh, um, and the dimension you know and again the multi-touch is uh, um, you know without degrading the quality of the picture is is something that uh, we feel very good about great can you also use a stylus of some kind with the, this uh, technology uh, we can so for example this is a passive stylus so you don't have a very high crazy cost the, let me clear the picture here. So I can use the stylus in these manners. Uh, many times when you use a stylus, you gotta be very careful not to put your palm on the screen or to do your, to put a different hand on the screen. And that's very limiting. But with our solution, you don't have the problem. You can still use a stylus and you can still use your hand at the same time. And uh, we also have algorithms that allow for palm rejection. So you can actually lean on uh, the screen and do it in uh, that, that that manner um, and in addition we can also support glove um, 
which is which is quite unique. So in this case, I have a very thick glove, uh, and I'm able to still mark on the screen, and I can even do one better. I can use the glove and the stylus at the same time, or I can use the glove, the stylus, and my finger all at the same time. Cool. So I think we are really changing the way that people interact with the uh, with the screen and allows them more freedom. You're no longer just restricted to holding the finger in a certain angle or be restricted to one finger. You can use several finger to do gesture. You can use a uh, off the shelf, very standard, easy to use stylus. And then if you happen to have a glove or uh, any kind of off cover, it's not a problem. We can also support that. Great. Uh, one question I did have, is, I guess the, the glass must be not just a, you're using a, basically frustration of a total internal reflection kind of technique. Correct. So I guess the glass surface has to be pretty good to make that work, especially on a curved display. Can you, can you comment on that? Uh, yes, we do use a special glass uh, that allows for a good uh, optical quality. Uh, this is done by design, um, and, uh, and the good news is by using a high quality glass, we, again, we're not degrading the quality of the picture, uh, and we get a almost perfect clarity through the LCD, so that is correct. And you have no real limitation in terms of the size of the glass, you're not stuck to a certain size, as you said, up to over 100 inch? Uh, correct, so today we're, um, our standard product go from 15 to 110. Um, if the market grows and there is a need for bigger sizes, um, we, we can continue pushing the innovation. Um, and, and the other thing that I wanted to point out is, again, whether we do 15, 55, 78, it's the same architecture. So when you look at our module, the structure of the module is the same. We don't have to change the way that the sensors are being uh, placed, the type of sensor that are being place all we have all we can do is just scale up so it's a very nice scalable solution right okay thanks very much indeed nathan uh, so this is bob rakes for display daily at isc 2015 uh, at flat frog so thanks very much for that nathan uh, thank you